Welcome to Electro Online. This is probably the most asked question in thermodynamics from the viewers. Why do we sometimes use delta U equals Q minus W? And why does my book say delta U equals Q plus W? It's the source of a lot of confusion. Why is it plus? Why is it minus? Why is it different? Well, it turns out it's really the same equation, the first law of thermodynamics. It just depends how it's defined. It all comes down to the, de the definition of the first law of thermodynamics. So here we have delta U equals Q minus W and delta U equals Q plus W. It's the very same equation, just defined differently. So let's read the definition. In the case of here, delta U equals Q minus W, it is the change in the internal energy of a gas, which is delta U, is equal to the heat added to the gas, which is Q, minus the work done, and here's the key word in that sentence, by the gas. So if we define it as follows, that the change in internal energy of a gas is equal to the heat added to the gas minus the work done, by the gas, delta U equals Q minus W. But if we define it like this, delta, e, delta U equals Q plus W, then we read it as follows. The definition is then read, the change in the internal energy of a gas is equal to the heat added to the gas plus the work done on the gas. So, with other words, if you do work on a gas, that will increase internal energy of the gas. If work is done by the gas, that will require energy, and the gas will take energy out of itself. In other words, if, if, uh, if the gas does the work, it requires energy, and the energy level of the gas is reduced. Probably a better way to say it. So, we subtract the work done, if it's done by the gas, because that takes energy out of the gas. We add work done, if we do work on the gas because that adds energy to the gas. And that's the difference. It's just the way it's defined. It's essentially the same equation for the same first law of thermodynamics. And so we shouldn't be confused. We should simply realize it depends how it's defined. For example, if I were to change this word, the change in internal energy of the gas is equal to the heat added. Or instead of saying to the heat added, how about if I say to the heat removed from the gas. Well, then this will become a minus Q because if I remove heat from the gas, I have negative Q. Q is and heat is removed, Q becomes negative. So again, it all depends how it's defined. It should not be a mystery. Some authors and some books, and I prefer myself this equation, but I've seen other books use this equation. But again, students shouldn't be uh, confused. It simply means that it's defined differently minus the work done by the gas, plus the work done on the gas. And that's the only difference. And that is how it's done. Can it ever be uh, which way? Plus the work done uh, by the gas, no, because you want to subtract it. So yeah, it, the minus goes with the word by, and the plus goes with the word on. It, you cannot do one without the other. So if you want to define it very directly, you want to do it like that. Mm -mm, nope, it's got to stay like that. One or the other, but no combination of the two. No, this is not mathematics. This is physics. Only two possibilities. <laughs> All right.